Now for the fun. There are certain tools that every knitter needs um, and many tools that every knitter wants, but we're just going to focus on a few today. The first is a project bag, a place to store your yarn, your knitting needles, and all of the other little things that you'll find you need. It's good to have them in a handy place. And I just buy my project bags on Etsy. Um, that mushroom one would fit sock, hat. Uh, this is a bigger one that I got that would fit more, uh, a larger project like a fingering weight sweater or, I don't know, maybe a scarf. Again, another zipper pouch. And this one has a handle that you can put on your arm and then walk around and knit once you get really good at it. There are also drawstring styles, which I really like because they don't get your yarn snagged on a zipper. Um, these are pretty easy to make too. If you know how to sew, probably you could figure this out. But they're perfect. This one is the perfect size for socks and I just love the birds. <laughs> You can also store your projects in baskets or really any container. As long as all the things you need are contained in one area, it really helps to organize your projects and it just makes it more pleasant. Here's a sock that I'm working on with one of my fall mini skein sets. I still have to finish the second sock, but um, here are the five little balls of wool that I naturally dyed using plants. I think these are going to be really cozy socks for the fall. <sighs> this is a needle cozy and it's really helpful when you're working with double pointed needles or circular needles. You just simply attach it to the end where the needles are and then snap it up and it will keep your stitches safe and sound. You won't have to worry about them tape measure. Yes, this will become your best friend once you've been knitting a while. You'll need it to, um, to measure stuff, make sure things are going to fit. This is another needle gauge here at the bottom, just like I showed you with the acorn, same thing. And this also will give you your gauge of knitting of your fabric. So how many stitches do you have across and how many rows do you have going up and down? You would just simply place this on your knitted fabric and start adding up those stitches, counting them. And this is a four inch square and that's how you determine gauge. You knit a four inch sample. These little scissors are really handy, little snips. Uh, you're always going to be snipping ends. And in here I keep all of my stitch markers and progress keepers. Um, progress keepers have a little lobster clasp on the end and you can simply put them on your project uh, when you start knitting for the day and then see how far you've gotten and you can move it up each day. They also are great for keeping track of stitches. This one's really cute, molded from polymer clay. And again, I get them on Etsy. Um, this is one that I I, um, I made myself. I also make them and give them away with yarn purchases. This is another style that uses like a light bulb. It's called um, pin to, again, keep track of where you are in your stitches or in your progress. They're really cute and they can be collectible, but I think I have too many. Um, it's really much more practical practical to simply use these little rings, so I've been accumulating those as well. Stick them right on your needle and you'll know what stitch you're keeping track of. This is another style that's very inexpensive that you can pick up. Um, they're like little safety pins, I guess, but they're plastic and they're not sharp, but they're great for keeping track of rows. When you get into more complicated patterns, you'll see why these are important. You will definitely need a darning needle or a yarn needle, um, a blunt tipped needle with a large eye for yarn. They come straight like this version here. 
and they also come in a curved version. It's supposed to make it a little bit easier. I don't really find a difference. Um, but you'll need at least one of those, although you may find you lose them constantly. And uh, those are great for weaving in all of those loose ends when you're finished with your project. That's uh, about it for tools that I think are really important when you start out. Thank you for joining me for the basics. And if you're interested in Beyond the Basics, where we get into more detail, please let me know.